Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So it is Booklist Thursday today and I'm so excited as always. Um, Booklist Thursday is something that Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand and I do. We come to you every Thursday with some sort of bookish topic, book thoughts, book recommendations, something bookish related. So last week we did our five star prediction follow up. So we let you know about the five books that we picked that you guys picked for us to read that we thought we'd give five stars to or you thought you we would you know what I mean. So this week we're gonna give you our next round of five star predictions. So for this one, we decided to pick five books we think we're gonna give five stars to from five different genres. It's a lot of fives. So the five genres we picked. So we have a nonfiction, a thriller, historical fiction, contemporary, and a fantasy. So I've got my five books that I think I'm gonna give five stars to. Let's talk about them. So the first one, five star prediction for a thriller, I'm going to read Bird Box by Josh Mailerman. I'm scared. I'm going to be honest, I'm scared. But this has been bugging me for a while. I have got this, I think, through a cheap download. I want to say I only paid a couple bucks for it. But I need to read this. Plus, I'm, I've got this effort going on. I want to read more books off of my Kindle anyways. So let's get it going. So Bird Box, Josh Mailerman. It's about... I think we're set in a dystopian universe where you cannot go outside. If you make eye contact with whatever creatures out there, you, you die. So they have to leave because I think they're running out of food. So it's a mom and her kids and they have to leave blindfolded. Ah. Yeah. I'm gonna read it though. I'm gonna read it. Next one I am going to read, let's see, we'll go with my nonfiction. I'm picking up Educated by Tara Westover. I'm gonna do it. It's happening. This follows. It's a memoir of Tara's life. She grew up off the grid um, with her parents who raised her completely like they did not believe in doctors. They did not believe in traditional school. Um, they lived off of the land and it's her story of growing up that way. So I'm really excited about that one. Um, I talked about my thriller, but a historical fiction that I picked up um, is Where the Crawdads Sing by Del Delia Owens. This is set, I believe, in the 19 1969. Um, follows, let's see, there's rumors of the Marsh Girl um, that has haunted Barkley, Barkley Cove, a quiet town in North Carolina. Um, when a local man is found dead, they suspect this so-called Marsh Girl named Kaya. Um, and Kaya is not what they say, sensitive and intelligent. She has survived for years alone in the marsh and that she calls home, finding friends in the gulls and lessons in the sand. When time comes that she yearns to be touched in love, two men from town become intrigued by her wild beauty. She opens herself up to a new life and then the unthinkable happens. But I've heard great things. So I'll be picking that one up. My fantasy pick, and I'm really in the mood for fantasy lately. I don't know what that, where that's coming from, but I am. I'm picking up The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. This, I believe, centers around, let's see, a 17-year-old girl named Alice, and her her mother have spent most of her life kind of roaming from town to town on the road. Um, always a step ahead of the uncanny bad luck biting at their heels. But when Alice's grandmother, um, who is the author of um, a book of pitch dark fairy tales called The Hazelwood, um, she passes away alone at her estate. Alice learns how, ba learns how bad her luck can really get when her mother is stolen away by a figure who claims to come from the supernatural world called the Hazelwood. Um, Alice has been told to stay away from the Hazelwood, but she doesn't because she's going to go save her mother and goes right into the Hazelwood. And I'm so excited for it. And lastly, my contemporary pick I think it's a newer book that I bought. Like, I just picked up this book and I just bought this one, but that's okay. I'm excited for them. Um, is The Girl He Used to Know by Tracy Garvis Graves. I fell in love with Tracy Garvis Graves when she, when I read her book on the island. Um, like, totally fell in love with it. Five star book. Absolutely. So I'm excited to pick this one up. And I believe this follows two people, Annika and Jonathan, who kind of find the love early on. And Annika's a little little odd and something happens it breaks them up but years later they find each other again but yet they still have to get over whatever happened in the past I don't know I don't care I've heard really great things I've heard people cry when they read it I'm prepared don't worry but I picked that one up 
So those are my five, my next five books that I predict are five stars for me. Um, I believe we usually give about three months for us to read these books. So we'll be back with a wrap up. Oh geez. So we have May, June, July, end of July, beginning of August, something like that. We'll let you know. Um, and I'll let you know how these went. I'm super, super excited. Okay. I'm excited for four and super, super scared for one, <laughs> but it'll be good. It'll be good. Um, leave a comment down below or any of these books, five stars in your eyes, which one should I start with? Um, and am I, am I going to survive the bird box? Am I going to have nightmares? Should I only read that during the day? I don't know. Comment below. Let me know. <laughs> I got to like mentally prepare for that book. Otherwise, like, subscribe, go over to Sarah's channel, check out and see what her next five star predictions are. I'm always excited to see what she's got on her list. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye.